Paris, we appeal to Kenyans to be on standby and the lookout in the event they run, they run, they run this through your throats. Don't give up. Don't surrender. Join us in the next course of action that we, we will communicate soon. We shall emerge stronger. We shall overcome. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have had a meeting of uh, the Mio uh, summit, attended by all members, and uh, we have reviewed the issues that uh, are affecting the country at the moment, um, particularly the issue of the budget. And we have a statement uh, that's going to be read on our behalf by Honorable Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya, who is uh, our Shadow Minister for Finance. Thank you. Uh, Sandy, Baba, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's uh, press conference of the ASMIO Summit. We have had a meeting of ASMIO Summit and the technical team regarding the inaugural budget estimates, including its so-called amendments that Kenya Kwanza moves for second reading in the National Assembly tomorrow. After going through the document, our position remains that the budget proposal remain flowed beyond redemption. As we said earlier, no amount of amendments can redeem this bill. There are things that are deeply passionate and unrelenting about. We believe Kenyans have been hurt for a prolonged period of time. The budget proposal prolongs and worsens the suffering of the people. As a party, we believe Kenyans will thrive when we cut, not when we increase taxes. We believe the country will thrive when we moderate our expenditure, this bill remains expenditures and proposes to spend what we don't have. We believe the country will do better when we devolve more in line with the Constitution. This bill proposes to devolve less and instead ask for more money for the national government for otherwise devolved functions. We believe our country will function better when we strengthen the middle class. This budget will kill the middle class and when we kill middle class, we hurt millions of our people. We believe in extending and expanding social security protection to our people. This bill diminishes social protection. We believe in creating an enabling environment for manufacturing so that more investors can set up in our country and provide jobs for our people. The bill offers little, if any, in terms of encouraging manufacturing. We believe in empowering the private sector and enabling it to do driver of growth, to be the driver of growth in our country. The bill frustrates the private sector with taxes. We are passionate about extending a helping hand to women 
and particularly to single mothers and the youth. This bill takes away from our women and our youth. We are passionate about access to quality education and ensuring no single child is left behind. This bill will diminish those opportunities. In the nutshell, we believe that this country needs and deserves a people's budget. We repeat, we believe in a people's budget. We believe in the rights best budget. The budget is coming. Kenyans will have the people's budget. We believe in a country that lives within its means so that we are not held hostages by countries that lend us money. <clears throat> Borrowing to spend is not a, wi a wise idea. What we have, we have here is not a people's budget. What we have here is a leader's budget. Finally, we believe in a budget that is sold to Kenyans as one indivisible country and people. Because Kenya, Kwanzaa, realizes the entire bid is punitive. It is dividing, stigmatizing, and threatening our people. It is trying to isolate central Kenya so that the region does not engage fully in debating this bill. They are dividing our youth into mungiki, drunkards, and drug addicts so as to stop them from participating in any opposition to this budget. Our members of parliament are mobilized, whipped, and aligned. They will reject this anti-people bill. We now appeal to you, the Kenya Kwanzaa MPs. We know that in your hearts, of hearts, you know the budget is wrong. We urge you to join your Asimio counterparts and stand with the people. We ask Mama Mboga, what wa Mjengo, what wa Mkokoteni, what wa Boda Boda, the teachers, the nurses, the doctors, the hawkers, among others, to ask themselves that this budget serve your welfare. Will this budget leave you better than you are? You are currently, or that you are, you are as Kenya Kwanza was campaigning in 2022. If the answer is no, tell your MP to vote against this bill. Otherwise, we appeal to Kenyans to be on standby and the lookout in the event they run they run they run this through your throats don't give up don't surrender join us in the next course of action that we we will communicate soon we shall emerge stronger we shall overcome thank you Any question? None. Yes, sir. Asante. Kwa kiswahili tu mwishimi wa poranya, tayari umesema kwamba you've said that another budget will be ready soon and we want to know under what circumstances or what structure is Azmiyo or 